All right, if you can all come in and get a seat. That would be awesome, because our keynote speaker, Chris Wright, just showed up, so I'm, I'm okay to start. All right, well, I'm really grateful for all of you for coming today. I know there, I heard there were 25 other co-located events happening today. So you had a lot of choice when you came here today. And we really appreciate you um, coming and sharing your stories with us, the customers who are gonna talk through their case studies and the engineers and PMs who have taken time out um, to come today. Um, we're very grateful for hearing all of the news and updates and roadmaps. If you don't know me, then I'm not as good at stalking as I thought I was. Um, my name is Diane Mueller. I am the community manager and the director of community development for OpenShift and the cloud platform at Red Hat. And today I'm just going to do a real quick, very quick talk because there are a lot of things um, on the agenda and I want to slip in some extra time for um, a special uh, talk um, in a few, a few after the keynote. So I'm going to get started right away. It's one minute early, which is keep coming in, grab a seat. Um, and just so that you know, everything we're doing today is being recorded um, and streamed through Facebook, ex with the exception of the one talk that wasn't allowed to with their legal issues. But um, we'll get that up there eventually. So I want to get started, and I want to really talk about um, collaboration and cross-community collaboration from the perspective of myself and the OpenShift Commons first, which is you're at the OpenShift Commons gathering. Um, and I want to explain a little bit about um, where we're at and what, and, and what the OpenShift Commons is all about. And so if you know Red Hat, and I suspect you all do, we, you've seen this slide before somewhere else. Um, there are over a million plus open source projects. I think we have our finger in, 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 in a great majority of them at different places. Um, and we've been really pushing hard um, the message that open source and collaboration is where innovation happens. But I would have that um, it's not just in the code, which is what most times a community manager is really focused on, is trying to get all of you to contribute to my code base, but it's in the collaboration and the story sharing and the feedback and all of the information that we share with each other about best practices. And that's really um, what's helping to drive the OpenShift Commons. And that collaboration is what we're here today to make happen. Um, what I would really love is if everybody here today um, turn to the person that was next to them, and if you know them already, you should move someplace else um, at the next break and sit next to some stranger um, and have a conversation. There's lots of opportunities today. We have a great reception coming in the evening to really try and further the conversation and meet your peers. But first, I have a really quick update. Does anybody remember this little panda? A couple of people from the insiders from Red Hat. So um, if you didn't know, um, back in the end of the, at the in August time frame ish, we um, renamed um, OpenShift Origin to OKD, which I like to say is OK Diane. Everybody's agreeing with me. That feature gets in, Diane. OK, Diane. Um, and that's a wonderful thing. And I just wanted to make sure everybody was aware of it. The little panda will be popping back up again. That was something that came in in the early days. The repo stayed where it was. And so none of your scripts or any build processes change or anything. But we had to change the name to really reflect the nature um, and the shift that we did from being um, the platform as a service known as OpenShift Origin that was built in Ruby and Rails and all that good stuff to being a Kubernetes distribution um, with all the wonderful extras. So a little bit about how we deliver all of this, that hasn't changed. Um, what we do is we've got a lot more integrations, a lot more moving parts that we pull into OKD, um, and we push them out into the container platform, OpenShift Dedicated, OpenShift Online, and to a whole host of other managed service providers and people who are hosting OpenShift um, are pulling from OKD and pushing up. There's a lot of integrations going on, so there's a lot of moving parts. Um, we're going to have a talk after lunch about operators. Um, you can go to OpenShift Commons and you will find a list of almost 50 community operators now. Um, and we'll explain what operators are, but there's a lot of those coming down the pike. But today is really about who, from my perspective, you'll get a lot of technical talks. Um, 
is about who is um, OpenShift. And it's not just the things we put into OKD and the things, um, it's all of the community of people who are integrating, hosting, working with us, partnering with us, developing applications that are deployed on top of um, OpenShift in some place, somewhere on some cloud. Um, and this is really the spirit of what we're trying to do um, right now. Um, if you go to OpenShift Commons, you'll see a list of, um, I, think, I think we're at um, 4, 454 since I took the screenshot. There are about four more folks came in over the weekend, 452 or 453. Um, but what we're trying to do is build a community of people who are not just the people contributing code to OpenShift, but the people who are using it, the people who are integrating it, and the people who are helping us drive innovation into OpenShift and into Kubernetes and into all of the other ancillary projects that are part of this community. So what is OpenShift Commons? So I always like to say it's a new community model, um, like something I made up, but I didn't really. Uh, there's a lot of history that goes into having sort of ecosystem-based communities. Um, but I also like to see, and I'm going to get all my Twitter notifications today unless I turn that off eventually, um, that this is, and that's totally appropriate, it's a communications channel. It's a way for us to communicate in person, virtually. We have a very active um, Slack channel that um, I, if, if you're a member of OpenShift Commons, one of the 450 or odd organizations, anyone from that, um, your organization can join the, the Slack channel, anyone can join um, the mailing lists. All of our events, all of our briefings, all of our YouTube stuff, everything is out in the open along with the code. Um, we have a whole bunch of SIGs. There's somebody I just ran into from the EDU SIG. There's a new telco SIG. There's a machine learning SIG. There's an operator SIG. There's a SIG for just about everything. And there's a difference between like a Kubernetes technical SIG where the work gets done and the code gets written. Um, what we really try and do in the SIGs for OpenShift Commons is really share best practices, use cases, lessons learned, um, and new updates on product releases and things like that so that people can keep up to speed because there's really, like today, a fire hose of information that's coming at you. So um, most of it's community-driven um, content. There's uh, the briefings that I do once or twice a week, usually, the SIGs. Um, there's video up for that. There's video up for all the gatherings. This is our, and I'm going to keep getting that, aren't I? Um, it's a communications channel. Uh, there are a lot of events. You can find all the events on OpenShift Commons um, and on the events calendar. And the interesting thing about this, from a community manager's point of view, is that all of this participation in these conversations and these um, briefings and these events really is driving an amazing amount of contribution, code contribution into the project as well, which is phenomenal from a community manager. And we really, what we want to say is thank you to all of you who have contributed over the early days uh, five years ago when I first joined up. And now it's pretty phenomenal, some of the folks. Um, and a lot of you are in the room today, so very much thank you. But what I wanted to really push on today and really for the driving through the whole week of KubeCon and CNCF um, this conference here is about cross-community collaboration and how important it is today in the world of open source. I'm going to talk a little bit about collaboration on um, Kubernetes. I mean, this, there's lots of different dashboards. I just picked one. Um, if you look at it, it's, there's a whole lot of independent people, um, people who don't self-identify by their corporation, so they are semi-anonymous. Lots of people and lots of activities. It's not just Red Hat, um, and we're happy about that. There's a lot of Red Hatters in there, in the different SIGs. We are putting a lot of our engineers and other folks on all of the different um, SIGs and projects and initiatives and incubating things and things in the sandbox. So you'll see us p pretty much playing everywhere. But we did a really, uh, there's a company called Bitergia um, that does our internal uh, and some public uh, dashboards for community statistics, and I've been working with a, a gentleman named Daniel Esquerdo um, from Spain, and we took a look at, because it started to get really kind of interesting to me, is to try and see where the Red Hatters were working on both Kubernetes and both um, OpenShift, and see what the 
where, where the, the network of effect was taking place. And all of those pink dots represent about, um, for the time period, which I think is the past two years, 90 um, engineers who are contributing to um, both Kubernetes and Red Hat. So you start to see the network effect. And then you start to see the network effect of all of the developers who are working on both projects. And we would suspect that since Kubernetes, OpenShift is a dis distribution of um, Kubernetes, and I'm going to get everybody's stuff here, but that's OK, uh, that you start to see that um, there are a lot of developers that are working on both projects. And this is you know, pretty amazing to us, and they're not all Red Hatters, and that's, that's awesome. The other way to, that I've been looking at it recently, too, is all of the different organizations, too. And this is just Kubernetes. So if we look at all the different organizations, each one of those colors is a different organization. And we can drill down on these for days, but we don't have days. But the interesting thing to me is that's just Kubernetes. Right? So to take that to the next level, which will take a little bit more research and data framing, and looking at all of the, um, the other CNCF projects that we work on together with each other, the new ones coming up, like the operator framework, um, K-Native, which you'll hear about this afternoon, there's, you got to start thinking about how complex these conversations are, these roadmaps are, these release schedules are, and you start to really get a handle on how important communication and collaboration has become in the world of open source. And that's what really we're trying to facilitate here, is that if you can get that face-to-face -face time with your peers, with your engineers over the next week, get the updates you need today and the rest of the week, um, and go back and feel like you're connected, then we've done our job and um, we can hopefully go on and be very effective. Because from my perspective, this is all about collaboration with peers. Um, there are a lot of you in the room from different um, OpenShift uh, distributions uh, or different OpenShift uh, integrators and different OpenShift hosts and different OpenShift companies that are using it. But there's also a few of you, there's um, this afternoon, uh, Ticketmaster will be talking about their journey to Kubernetes and their use of Tectonic. There's some OpenShift on OpenStack. There's a whole lot of varieties of things here that bring together lots of different communities. So. We're really happy you're here today. The other thing I wanted to give a shout out to was our sponsors, because without this, it wouldn't happen. Um, this is a community event. It's not a corporate event. You won't see vendor pitches here today. But you will meet your, some vendors in the back who have sponsored, sponsored your cookie breaks, your lunch breaks, your dinner breaks, and your beer in the evening. So please take a moment, meet them, thank them, and we will um, make this all happen for you. So. Um, that's our universe that we have to live in today. It's getting bigger all the time. And if you'd like to, if you're in the room and you haven't joined OpenShift Commons yet, please do so. It's at commons.openshift.org. And probably not today, but maybe tomorrow, I will answer the email and, and set you up with access to everything. So thank you. That's my little spiel. Did I do that in one minute over? So what I wanted to do now was stop, bring up the keynote speakers, Chris Wright, our CTO, and Reza, our VP of product for, for all of cloud platform, or pretty much platform services. platform services. All right, there you go. And I see Chris was in the room. Yeah, he's going to join right after. OK. OK, so let's do this. Ta-da. Thank you.